Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. My name's Taylor. Here's all my contact information. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding this video, I'd be happy to chat. Um, but today we're going over our 2023 Winnebago Solus. It's a 59 PX. And as you can see, this exotic color, very flashy, is going to be the uh, Spitfire Red. Sorry, let me double check. I said that like four times because it's such a funny name. Yeah, Spitfire Orange. <laughs> Alrighty, but yeah, let's get right into it. Starting over here with our upgraded rims and our tires. This is going to be a front wheel drive unit. Beautiful running board here as well. Has nice little W grips inside just to accent that Winnebago. We have our docking light on right now, which is perfect for at night, just to kind of light up your space. I like the little black paint accents too. It kind of calms the Spitfire orange down. And then lastly, I just want to point out, we have our um, pop top there. So one of my favorite floor plans, just because if it is just going to be you and somebody else traveling, you kind of have that option later down the road if you want someone to camp with you, or it's also perfect for kids. It kind of gives them their own little hideaway space. So they definitely love it. <clears throat> Directly across. Behind that is going to be your Coleman Mac Q AC unit. Um, so you'll definitely want that. The PX is going to be the fully loaded unit. So it's going to automatically come with that AC generator and heating. Um, so this is ready for any weather types. All right, now to the rear. As you can see, the tinted blackout windows, you can barely kind of see inside and you also have an option inside there to zip it to completely get it blacked out just for more privacy. The doors swing all the way open. And another thing too that's kind of cool with this color, you can also see the um, interior Spitfire orange um, inside of the coach as well. So it kind of gives it just like that Jeep -y feel, you know, just Jeeps kind of show the color in the inside too. Um, so does this one, so that's kind of nice as well. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and pop up here. So here is our backup camera. This is kind of just an exterior bug net here, but you can completely rip it off if you want. Um, so you're not really worried about bugs or this is just kind of in the way and you want more of an open feel, you could totally take it off. It's just Velcroed on and off and then you have the zip to completely black it out here. I'm just going to show you some of the storage inside just because it gets kind of um, cramped inside for the video just to show you guys as much as I can from the outside. So here's some more storage, just kind of nice and hidden away. And then you have your 30 amp shore power cord right here. Right beside it, you have some more storage in here as well. And then Winnebago gives you a nice little goodie box here. Um, some are kind of thrown out, but you could just keep them in the box. Perfect. And directly over here, you just have um, some more storage. It's not really hidden, it's more open. Um, just so you can kind of slide anything in there that you'd like. And then the access panel down here for your water tank is going to be directly below there as well. So if you're having any issues summarizing or winterizing your unit, um, you could definitely take a peek in there. Speaking of summarizing and winterizing, it kind of gives you a nice picture detailed um, description on how to do that. And then you also have your exterior shower here with hot water. Your hot water tank is going to be 2.6 gallons. Um, so pretty mighty for a small unit. And then your water fill right here. And then some more storage here. Here's just a little hose. So if you want to rinse off your feet or kind of wash off your dog before you guys go to bed, um, you have that option to do as well. Also over here, we have some nice little bike to, um, tie downs. Another thing about the PX, what you kind of get is this two foot, uh, two feet extra of garage space. So it's perfect for bikes, um, snowboards. You can kind of fit a canoe in long ways if you'd like, or you can have the option of putting it on top of the roof, um, but it's completely up to you. All right. And then these are just the blackout shades I was kind of telling you about too. Um, you can roll it up and it it's nice and tucked away here. You could zip it to black it out. Or again, you can completely rip it off too because it is Velcro. All right, slide on over to the driver's side. 
directly underneath here. This is where your generator is going to be. You can kind of see a little peep of green, but it's going to be the um, Onon gener uh, Quiet Gas Generator or LP. It just depends. You can have either configuration and this will just be the generator exhaust. And then you also have your gray tank dump right there. Here's the 30 amp shore power cord connector. And then this is going to be your black tank. So it's only five gallons, super easy to dump. You don't have to find a dump station. You can dump it in a porter potty, directly in a toilet, or of course a dump station as well. Just gives you the flexibility of while you're going down the road. You don't have to make a special trip just to dump your black tank. Here is just your exhaust for your Truma hot water heater. So that's going to be your heater and as well as the hot water inside of the coach. <clears throat> Whoops. All right, here is your 24 gallon gas fuel tank. I like how it's nice and hidden there. Um, with the Rebels, it's on the opposite side, so you kind of just got to remember which corner you're coming from here. Here's just a little snippet of the driver's seat. It's going to be all manual to retract or in lumbar seats, and then you also do have a nice little arm there, armrest on the other side. Go ahead and, oops, the parking brake popped it. Alrighty. Now I'll go ahead and pop the hood. Bring this up. There we go. Alrighty, as you can see, everything's in with hands reach. You have your windshield wiper fluid fill right here, but it's gonna be directly back here just so you know how much you're putting in. You don't wanna overfill it. And then you have your coolant over here. Whoops, I skipped over the dipstick. Sorry about that. You have the dipstick here for your oil. Um, but this is on a Ram Pro Master 280 horsepower, 3.6 liter V6 engine, and it's a nine speed automatic. Um, it's a 62 TE transmission with 180 amp hour alternator, and it does have four wheel um, ABS brakes, and uh, it's 250 foot pounds of torque. And again, like I said earlier, it is that front wheel drive. Um, so just wanna keep that in mind when it is snowing. And just to touch on the chassis warranty here, of course we have that one year Winnebago warranty, but everything for the chassis, you have a three year, 36,000 mile basic warranty. And then you also have a five year, 60,000 um, powertrain. So you, definitely that extended warranty for your chassis, just to give you a better peace of mind while you're going down the road. Alrighty, now that we took a look at everything exterior, let's go ahead and jump on inside. <clears throat> Before we get right into it, we do have another um, exterior shower here. So you have a total of three places to shower on this little van. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and start directly from the back. So I can show you the bed configuration. So right now it's pretty roomy, especially with this extra garage space. I like it just because you still have another route to get out. You don't have to get out on this side or open the door. Um, so without kind of waking up anybody that's staying with you or hopping over the um, hopping over them to go to the bathroom it kind of just gives you a little bit more space over here to kind of hop off and then i mean yeah you got to crawl under but then you don't have to worry about waking anybody up in the middle of the night and then you have storage on either side they're both nice and carpeted just to help um, with insulation as well as noise going down the road. But this is where your little charging station is going to be. So you have USBs and two plugins. And then it's beautiful just directly above the bed. Um, this is where you can configure your AC and heat. And then you can um, switch off. I'm trying to. <laughs> It's not a fan, but you know what I'm talking about, the direction of where the air's going. Um, drawing a blank there, sorry, it's my Monday. <laughs> uh, alrighty, and then once you go ahead and put that bed back up, I know I showed you guys all the storage down below, um, but I did wanna just point out this little, ex this little table you have here. 
So it's just another place where you can um, work on the go or it just, you know, your kid can set up here and kind of have a little coloring station or just another option for someone to sit down and eat inside of um, the van without having to give them the boot to eat outside and maybe it started raining or something. Um, oops, go ahead and latch that back up. So I didn't get to show you this little drawer here. It is a smaller drawer, but I want to make sure to show you all of the storage um, space inside here. And then this is just where your, all of your breakers are going to be and your fuses. And we got some more storage up here and this one. So this one has an adjustable shelf. As you notice, everything is pretty much magnetic and latched, so that's just gonna help too with the rattling and um, the noise going down the road as well. I mean, it's not, you you won't be able to hear a pin drop because it is like a little mini house going down the road, but Winnebago definitely tries their best to um, lessen the squeaks and, scra and squeals going down the road. So inside here, here is your actual indoor shower to give you a little bit more privacy, and this is also your toilet. As well, it does swivel. So if you don't want to close the door, um, just because you feel like it's really hot to hate and you get a little claustrophobic, you can leave this door open and still use it. Or if you do want to give yourself a little bit more privacy, you can go ahead and swivel it over. So it gives you enough room to kind of put your legs over there and use the bathroom in peace. And then above, he above here, you have your nice little clothes rack. Um, if you are taller, you still have the option of taking it completely off, um, just to give you that comfortability of actually taking a shower without having to squat down. Um, but the shower head here is removable and it also does have a little spot too where it kind of just sits in here. But I like that, especially with um, only having a 20 gallon fresh tank, you want to use as less as minimal water as possible. So I like how it does detach just to give you that option to kind of rinse off really quick. And then it also has where you can just turn off the water from here, um, but it'll keep your hot water and the temperature that you specifically want um, set. So then you could just switch, switch it back over and the water will turn back on. Um, so just little details there. And then one more thing to point out is just your nice little toilet paper holder inside here. You don't have to worry about forgetting to bring in the toilet paper or getting your toilet paper wet. Um, so I love that. This is just another latch. Like I was saying, um, Winnebago tries to do their best to make everything minimal as possible with the noise. A lot of people, plus with the magnets, you feel like you're actually going to rip this thing off the hinges, but you're not as long as this is unlatched. You just um, definitely give it a good nudge to open it up. And then sliding over here is just kind of our control panel um, for the whole entire van. Here is that trim I was speaking about. So it's going to be your heating and your hot water. And you can also um, set a time frame while you're away just to make sure it doesn't get too hot in here or too cold. <clears throat> right over here is just going to be your tank levels. So for that fresh tank and gray tank, and then also it has your um, battery charge as well. And then you have your generator start and stop. Here is your just an uh, LP valve just to kind of shut everything off. Um, so you can shut it off here and there is one exterior outside too. Then you do have your Zantrac solar charger right here. So you have one big 170 watt solar panel, which is on directly on top of that pop top. And it's gonna be that sticky solar panel. So you don't have to worry about it kind of popping off or anything like that. And then this does have the holding tank heater, which is super awesome during winter, um, especially if you're kind of using it as a daily driver, um, you can just have that tank heater on. If you do have a little bit of fluids left in there just for emergencies, um, you can use that to kind of help protect yourself from freeze damage. Now we'll go back over here to our little kitchen and some more storage. And then you have your hot water, um, fresh tank and then you have the fresh tank uh, level light so right now it's completely empty but if you turn that on it will kind of show you the level of how much water you have in the tank so I love that little accent light there another little drawer shows you how to use your toilet two more plug-ins and then your little extended countertop here just to help with prepping and then your two um, propane burner the nice little cover to give it a sleeker feel on top of the counter space just in case you're not using it. Um, it's not like a waste of space having that cover. You could still put something on top of it. 
And right now I have the ladder kind of set up for the pop top. You guys have probably seen it multiple times. Um, so nothing crazy there, but it does have the charging. It does have three windows. One is the one of the windows where it actually gets kind of, well, some airflow in there. And then you have a little vent fan in there too that kind of sucks out the hot, wa um, hot water, <laughs> the hot air. So nothing too crazy there but it is definitely a comfy mattress. Um, I get a lot of feedback that that mattress up there is actually a lot more comfortable than the one down here. And then some more storage here with your Winnebago handy dandy notebook. And then kind of get this ladder out of the way without being too awkward. So we have the two point, uh, two seat belts. They're the three point seat belts. So I absolutely love that. Um, you don't, we don't have an anchor for child's car seats on this floor plan, um, but just giving mothers and fathers peace of mind of having that three point seat belt, just a little bit better for safety. And then you have your swivel table. So as you noticed, I did have the ladder still attached. I didn't have to take this table out. So I love the whole swivel motion. Clearly you won't be using it like that if you're going to be eating there, if someone's going to be sitting there. Um, but I like how you don't have to completely disable the whole entire table just to kind of get ready for bed. And I'll show that one more time just in case you guys missed it. So you still have a way to get in and out of bed without having to break down that table. Alrighty. Now we'll go ahead and slide inside here, in the cockpit area. This is a little armrest I was telling you about um, that you can kind of set to your um, comfort zone here. It's just a manual little lumbar thing underneath. But I'll go ahead and turn it on. It is a push start. So I have my key right here. There isn't anywhere really to specifically put your key. So if you want to keep it in your purse, you can. If you want to have it down here, that is um, available as well. So we have the LED screen here kind of nice little whoops overview of everything our steering wheel has basic things to answer the phone to switch through the menus on, over here and then also to do your um, cruise control so you could set the cruise control here here is all of the um, manual park reverse neutral and drive and then you also do have the tow haul over here is going to be your touch screen. So it is an, a bigger touch screen for 2023. Everybody loves that. This is just showing an overview of everything. So you have your navigation and then your radio right across. And then you have all your controllers down below. So we have Sirius, FM, and you can also, it is compatible for um, Bluetooth compatible to your phone. We just have your comfort here for all climate controls, navigation, your phone for Apple, for Apple Play or CarPlay, and then your vehicle settings, and just some additional apps that you can download. Down below here are all um, buttons for your um, climate control as well. You have the volume and the tuning here. You can turn the screen directly off, which I just personally love at night. These screens can get pretty bright, even if you have it dimmed really, really low. So if you're somebody that likes to travel at night, you can set everything that you need to set and to, um, turn it off. Um, your music and everything and navigation will still be working. So you can just turn it on where it will talk to you when you need to make a turn. You don't need to visually see it. And you can still listen to your music while you're going down the road. Down here is your hazard button. That's one thing I always try to remember to make sure I know where um, this is located before I start driving a new vehicle. Um, so it's right here in the center of everything, not really too hard to find in a pinch if you're kind of kind of forget where it's at or you didn't remember to check that out before you started driving. It's right there in front of your face, so I love that. A nice little charging pad here for one phone directly in the middle. So no matter if your co-pilot or the driver needs to charge their phone, um, you just have to take turns or one can actually use their cord while the other uses this one. And then you have three cup holders down below um, and you have a cup holder on either side for your driver and passenger side as well. Um, but that is pretty much it for our 2023 Winnebago Solus um, 59PX. Again, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, my name is Taylor Smith, and I'd be happy to help. Um, but yeah, have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy Wednesday.